Welcome everyone to part two of City Skylines 2 Early Access. Before we start, just a couple of things. This is a closed early access that was provided to me by Paradox. This is a development build with things that will be polished more until the official release in October. I can progress today to the next major milestone, which is the big town. And this is not the last video in this early access mini-series. Now, no one likes lengthy intros, so let's just jump right into the game, where I will explain what I'm gonna show you today. So this is our city that I just quickly started building in the previous part, and today I'm going to show you many more things that City Skylines 2 has to offer. So, I'm going to build a train station directly in the downtown, so I can show you how the railway infrastructure feels and works and looks. Then we are also going to build a cargo train station somewhere next to the industrial zone, some sort of a train yard as well. And then I would like to continue with road building. I would like to go into some more details about road building and let's build a, an interchange right here instead of this roundabout because I can just, you know, use that as an example of just some kind of tools for the road building and how it looks and works. Then uh, we're going to place down some uh, huge buildings. I would like to unlock the university, for example, place that somewhere where we have space. And overall, we're just going to continue and hopefully you will see how City Skylines 2 feels. Okay, so let's get to it. First things first. So I would really like to place that train station instead of this uh, high school. Now, I'm going to relocate the high school because it's in the way. I kind of poorly planned the city center, unfortunately. I'm going to place it right next to this industrial zone for now because I would like to place it on the side of the train station after I build it, but I don't know the space requirements just yet. Uh, unfortunately, relocating does cost quite a lot of money. So yeah, we will unfortunately bleed through most of the cash that uh, we had from the start and from unlocking the milestones. But I was kind of too eager in the previous part when I was building the city, so unfortunately I did a couple of mistakes. Like for example, I did not really do these blocks very well because the zoning is not all that uh, fitting, all the corners and everything. So I will remodel that, but uh, mostly I just want to make space for that train station. Now, before I build a train station, we have to build, as you can see, we have to build a depot uh, here, trains, rail yard, yeah, rail yard. Now, it's a huge building, similarly to the cemetery, to all the schools and everything, so City Skylines 2 really has very large buildings. All right, so it needs this much space. As you can see, it comes with multiple tracks. Now, the rail yard can also be expanded. We can, for example, do extra tracks, as you can see, or a maintenance hall. Now, let me quickly get rid of this gravel path towards that ore mine, because we will need this space for the tracks. And let me just build the tracks real quick. So I'm just going to be using uh, perhaps the double train track. I'm just going to build it from over here. Let's just uh, do maybe some kind of radius like this and then connect it to the main tracks like that. Now I'm just going to use these uh, two way uh, single train tracks and going to connect the actual train yard like this. As you can see, this is, this is very conveniently just creating all the switches and everything. Yeah, sure, it could have been a little better looking, but I'm just trying to, you know, quickly whip it up and uh, have it connected so we can move on. All right, so this track, maybe I would like to build it, let's say, like this. And this two-way track, let's also connect it down here to have some sort of nice looking train yard start. All right, so just like that. There we go. And uh, now I really want to remodel this entire block. So let me actually just uh, demolish all of this because I would really like to put a park here. Now, unfortunately, this street is not perpendicular to this block, so I have to demolish that too. And while I'm at it, let's actually demolish all of this so I can just do it much better. Now, unfortunately, I was not really paying attention to the snapping in the previous episode. I really do want to be using the snapping to zoning uh, cell length, yeah, so that uh, obviously existing geometry as well and uh, the zone grid so that it's going to create a nicely aligned infrastructure. Uh, 90 degree might be also a good snapping option in here. So let's do something like this. There we go. So that's looking good. That's creating a good corner. Now let's clip that off and uh, work from this corner. So this is going to be our start. In here, I'm going to place a large plaza because that's going to be exactly at the start of the train station. Okay. So then the train station, that's going to be going here. It's also a very large structure, as you can see. And 
you can also upgrade it. So right now it comes with these platforms, how many? One, two, three platforms, I guess. And this like a through track, but uh, you can actually upgrade that. You can, you can do extra platforms and uh, it's going to get rid of that through track. It's going to convert it into, into platforms. And you can also upgrade it with uh, station services or for example, a metro station. Then I was thinking, how am I going to fill this space? And I figured let's try doing some kind of crazy experiment. So how about just filling it with uh, some of these blocks? They are going to be able to have zoning inside perfectly. And uh, I don't know, it will just present something unique into the city center. So why not try that? Okay, so this is the reworked city center and now we have to rezone it. So as you can see, we got rid of a lot of uh, commercial areas. So let's put that on the main street, maybe right next to this park as well. And then we also have demand for some uh, medium density. So let's put that maybe in these. Maybe uh, let's just uh, keep it varied. So one block over here for office space. Now I would like to build a cargo station, but unfortunately the high school is in the way. So let me just quickly prepare some sort of a road that uh, we can then use for the high school. Yes, let's build a tunnel. Let's start from this street. Let's go all the way to tunnel segment. So I think that's going to be 10 meters. No, 12.5, right. And let's do it as short as possible. So maybe something like this then just continue underground to i think this height so first we have to go back to level zero now to this point go three five below and then connect it down to the tunnel there we go let's just uh, quickly see how the tracks work with this uh, yes, they will. Now, it's a little tricky to place cargo train stations in CS2 because the building is huge, first of all, and it's a dead-end station, unlike in CS1. So we can only access it from one side. I'm going to connect it with double train tracks. Uh, I'm assuming that it's going to be better because trains uh, entering the station will have some place to wait. So let's just connect it to this main line that goes outside of the map. Let's connect it here. And uh, let's also connect it uh, to the other side. And let's also connect it to the train yard. So that probably only requires a single track. And let's do it maybe something like that. Now let's connect this road back. Look at that. It's actually going to create a nice crossing even on this uh, kind of switch area. All right. And in City Skies 2, as you can see, you can actually do cargo railway routes. So let me do that. I'm just going to put one at this cargo station and then I'm going to go all the way to the edge of the map. There I will click that waypoint, click it. There we go. Just like in CS1 really creating some kind of passenger route. And then I'm going to go back and complete it. There we go. I can go to transportation overview, cargo, and there they are. They are going to show me the length, stops, trains. One train there is already, oh, both trains, both lines have trains already. That's nice. Here we go, milestone five unlocked. All right, so we got some money, much needed progression, uh, progression points and uh, expansion permits. So what exactly we got? We got some mixed housing, that's gonna be nice. And uh, then some other things, uh, communications most importantly. So we will do that. But first let's see the trains, how they are looking and working. Look at that, they actually have two engines. That's looking nice. There we go, the train is coming in. Another one from a different direction, which is also bringing in some cargo. All right, right, right. So how is it going to look? It's going to arrive at the station, right? It's going to get rid of the cargo, of course. And then what? I suppose that, uh, oh yeah, it's actually going to get stored inside the cargo terminal. And look at that, oh, look at that. We finally have some trucks now spawning with the materials. Yep, rocks, rocks, uh, more rocks, actually, and even more rocks. Okay, so those are cargo trains sorted, at least for now. Let's move on to road building and let me unlock highways first. So I'm going to go to the progression tab. Uh, we have tiny town right now. And uh, now I'm going to go to development and unlock highways. And I would also like to unlock uh, college and university. Let's build like a single point urban interchange. It's a small one, but it will, you know, illustrate how the tools work. So let's get rid of the roundabout. I can just uh, click inside the roundabout, demolish it like that, and then demolish this road. And well, actually this one too. And I would like to do that little trench for the main road with the tram. So in order to trigger it a little closer to the surface, I'm going to do a little trick 
and that is going to be I'm going to use the shift terrain I'm going to use the brush strength slightly lower then I'm going to move this terrain around here just a tiny bit higher that might be a little too much then I'm going to just uh, put it all away all around this this new road and then I will build this road I'm going to put it roughly to the center of this area right now and back to that road now I'm going to go back to the landscaping tools and I'm just going to smooth it all down and look at that it's actually smoothing down even the retaining wall around it that's very interesting looking and we have like a very shallow trench then I'm going to take the four lane two way highway I'm first going to build it over this little trench so let me just get the guidelines snapping there we go and build it just a little bit over it and then finish it towards the existing road so that's gonna be like that and over here like that then I'm going to take the one lane one way highway I'm going to use the parallel mode I'm gonna increase the offset to three I'm gonna do it straight and I'm just gonna eyeball it I don't want to do it all that uh, all that uh, precise and then I'm just going to build these entrance ramps to it let's snap to existing geometry maybe uh, get rid of the snapping of course start at five meters above just like before and uh, now get rid of the snapping and then do this so connect into that single point now I'm gonna do the same exact thing for the rest of these highways so as you can see they are nicely going to snap now to that point because I already established it so this other point I need to do exactly like this and this last one all right so the directions are not exactly right uh, these ones are not so I'm going to switch them it works a little differently compared to CS1 you actually have to like drag in the desired direction so that's going to be this one as well yeah there we go and we also want to ban the turnings so I unlocked these uh, changes so I can ban right turn from this that's only going to be a left turn and from this one those right turn lanes let's just do them from around here maybe and as you can see I'm going to snap to the outermost lane just like this so that's going to nicely create this entrance into that road isn't that looking great maybe you can see it but some connections are going to look better than others so it's definitely worth it to try to just uh, you know fiddle with it a little bit to just see where it's going to create like a good like for example texture and all of that so here this corner is a little bit rough but uh, maybe that's because this is actually a wrong direction if I change it then yeah it's going to look so much better now also this turn I also want to ban that of course so that's going to be the road services again this time I'm going to ban uh, left turns yes left turns of course turning right over here also need to ban that so that's going to be only for going straight and last thing I need to do is of course connect these ramps to the main road so it's gonna be a little fiddly because I made it very close to that main road but still as you can see it is gonna be possible I'm not using any snapping just to do it uh, a bit more freely and now I just need to do it to the other side so just like this there we go I was rebuilding this trench so of course I got rid of tram tracks and as you can see I can upgrade even the trench with the, the tram tracks now I really don't want to but as you can see we really have to build more suburbs low density residential demand is very very high so let me just increase the size of this district and be done with it for now so just like I did before some sort of random shapes exactly like around here before we return to the city center we also have very high industry demand so let me first expand these farmlands around here and hopefully it's going to drop it a little bit and yeah yeah you guys were absolutely right of course the livestock farming does not require uh, fertile land so I can get rid of it from around here well actually let's take a look at the city economy production tab and we need we need a lot of livestock but we also need a lot of uh, vegetables okay uh, grain we are making much more grain than we need so that's fine so let me get rid of the livestock farm from around here so this livestock farm this is grain farm that can remain grain as well another grain and another grain so that's all grain so I can just put this farm back but uh, have it vegetable have vegetable farm let's put it right there so livestock farm let's put that uh, on this road maybe okay so I placed down a couple more of these farms but uh, as you can see the industrial demand is actually going up slightly 
Although we did offset those production deficits, especially with livestock, as you can see. So I have some building permits. So let me just build quickly maybe these three tiles over here, or sorry, expansion permits. And let me expand the industrial zone. So I'm just going to build some sort of a simple grid on the side of this cargo station. We unlocked the recycling center. So maybe I can place that. All right, it's a fairly large structure. Let's place it actually in this unfinished part of the zone. There we go, just on the side. And hopefully that's going to bring in some raw materials. Anyway, let's uh, start zoning the industry. So let me just quickly zone it right here. Unfortunately, we're going to be polluting this groundwater, but uh, that's all right. And as you can see, also, we have this wind direction, which is blowing the uh, pollution away from the city so that's also fine let's also start thinking about this railway corridor so i would really like to have some kind of branch going across the river but i don't want to connect it just now let's just uh, put some sort of railways over here uh, you know just to have them i'm not going to forget about them later i'm going to build only that uh, bridge here over that road and then the rest i'm going to just do like this so that it's going to have the embankment instead of you know actual elevated segments and then let's just build a curve over here so i'm just going to be using the continuous mode for that and let's connect it uh, no it needs to be a little bit straight also i had to build it uh, higher 10 meters because then uh, i need to fit uh, Let's fit a roundabout here, the largest roundabout. On the other side of the corridor, we can just continue building this road right here. So let me just do that parallel to the main street. And uh, then it, there's going to be some sort of an intersection right uh, here. And we also are going to do some kind of extension from this roundabout. We also have some small demand for offices. So let's maybe try to establish some new office zone just about in this place. I'm going to try to maybe create this. Yeah, yeah, that's going to have unbroken zoning around it. That's very nice. All right, and both of those blocks, let's just make them into office. Now, we also unlocked communications. And first, we have post office uh, or post service and then the telecommunications. So right now there, we only have the radio mast. As you can see, we can just place it down in the city and have like a coverage of radio signal. In some places it's going to be worse, in some high places I assume it's going to be better. But let's first do the post office. So post office is just a service building. I figured that it might be a good idea to place it here because we kind of have weird zoning around that tunnel entrance anyway. And then we need to establish mailboxes as you can see. So. I guess that uh, you only need to do mailboxes in places where you don't really have the coverage of the of the post office. So let's just put one right there because that's very far away already from it. And I guess in these places, it's not going to do like perfect green color, as you can tell. But uh, that's because you will need to just build many more of those uh, post office buildings directly. I can also replace this ore mine because uh, it's on a valuable resource right now and uh, convert it into a coal mine because that's actually going to require ore deposits. Yeah, there we go, it's, it says so. I was looking through some of the signature buildings and apparently we only need to build one more farm to unlock the dairy house. So let's do that. I already prepared some infrastructure for it and well, there we go. What is it doing? It's going to give us a bonus for export profits citywide. That's nice. And industrial efficiency citywide as well. The park coverage in the city is very poor. So let's do something about it. We only built the plaza next to the train station. But as you can see, uh, it's not really doing anything for the suburbs. Let's do maybe a small park around here. Maybe in this corner It's kind of a weird zoning in there anyway. And uh, maybe on this main street, actually, we have some space right there. Also right here in the city center, in this new park area. So let's actually turn it into a park. And we already have night. And as you can see, yeah, there are those bright night lights. But uh, just like I said in the previous video, this is a development build. And this is a known issue, apparently. So I was just chilling during the night, but people were moving in. So we got some experience points. And that pushed us to milestone 6, Boomtown. Now, let's see what we unlocked. So loan limit. Cotton farming, interesting. Okay, so it's the morning and let's build the university. It's a huge structure, as you can see. It's absolutely huge. And I would like to place it just around here. That's kind of why I left this place open. So there we go. 
And this place on the other side of the university, let's just fill that similarly to before. So I would really like to place those uh, 10 by 10 cubes around here just to fill them with some maybe fancy looking offices later. Yeah, let's fill it like this. I really did not want to take it all the way to that main avenue because it would not really fit. It's curved there. Now, it seems like we are dealing with high crime in the city. So it's probably true because we did expand the city quite a lot and I did not really build any other uh, police stations. All right, fine. Let's put one also in the industrial zone. I really don't know if it's necessary, but uh, the coverage there was pretty bad. So I guess I'm just going to build a couple of these radio masts around the city. Hopefully that's just going to boost the attractiveness of the city a tiny bit. And, um, you know, it's just going to allow me hopefully to uh, get some more, get some more cash. I can upgrade this one with bandwidth increase. I really wonder if that's going to do anything. So let's just take a look at, uh, let's just take a look at the coverage first. So that's in telecommunications here. Okay, so this center of the city is kind of yellow only. Let's improve it then with, uh, what is this? Antenna extension increases coverage. All right, sure, let's do that. Let's uh, let's upgrade it with the coverage. Is that going to massively introduce some difference? Well, not really. So let's try. Let's then try the bandwidth increase. Maybe that's where the problems are. And now, yeah, it's actually much better. I have no choice but to expand the low density areas. So let me just quickly extend this main avenue. I am shooting myself in the foot with this zoning. I know because I am wasting so much space. Look at all these empty gaps between the zones but i just really don't want to build those uh, grid suburbs and we are starting to run out of power i actually need to build more wind farms so let's do that all right i still have huge demand for low density residential let's just build yeah sure i'm, I'm going to give in and let's just build some kind of grid big suburb right on the side of the downtown and now i have this tram loop in the way of zoning this so uh, let me get rid of it and i'm going to show you something so let me just uh, put the end stop right here and you probably know where this is going now uh, i need a special road i need a four lane divided road because it needs to have the medium at least uh, that's what i learned or that's how i tried it then i'm just going to put the tram track only on one side of it and then I'm going to put a stop there. So I'm going to put it in the middle of that road. And yep, that's exactly it. That is a reversible tram stop. So now I can just take this uh, tram line. I can extend it all the way back to this stop right there and get rid of the loop. I'm starting to have my first traffic jam. Look at that. This interchange is performing nicely, but this intersection is the bottleneck right now. So what I can do about it, for example, is turn some of these side streets into just one way because, you know, I can. So let's just turn this one only for turning away from the street. All right. And we finally have Milestone 7 Busy Town. I have to say that it really takes much longer time now to unlock these milestones because they require so much more experience points and uh, you cannot just slap down these kinds of service buildings like at the start because they are getting really really expensive so uh, right now I'm really struggling with money which you might say is actually a good thing because it just makes the game a bit more challenging I guess so when I look at the production tab I see that we have very high deficit of rocks Let's just build huge mines around the foot of these mountains. Now these rock mines are actually showing me, you can see it, that harvestable resource is zero kilograms. I'm assuming that that doesn't really, that doesn't really apply to me right now because these buildings don't require the natural resource. Now anyway, so let's spend some of the development points and let's be clever about it this time because I really don't want to build a telecom tower, it's super expensive but it probably would be bring some experience points. But I think that I saw some different buildings that were much cheaper. So, uh, for example, the crematorium, I believe, was cheaper. So let's unlock that for one point. Then uh, all of these universities are really expensive. Maybe not do that. Uh, Firewatch Tower was actually really cheap, I think. I'm not quite sure. Uh, emergency Shelter, I mean, it co only costs one point, so might as well. Let's do welfare office. That was actually kind of cheap. We got uh, the uh, firewatch tower. I'm not quite sure how that works. Tower that keeps constant lookout, reducing the chance of forest fires and alerting firefighters. 
the fire does break out. Right, so I guess that we can just place that maybe around the forestry industry because, uh, you know, that's the forest that I actually care about. But then we have the uh, small emergency shelter. Oh, it's really small, actually, really, really small. And uh, that's going to give me 100 XP points. So maybe I am going to spam those around the city. So uh, then we have the welfare office, right? So that's a much larger building. Let's place it somewhere in the city center and perhaps, no, it's not going to fit over there. So maybe around here. Oh yeah, that's a perfect spot. And we are finally getting some medium density zoning demand. That's very nice. I'm going to probably prepare some sort of a new city district around uh, these areas. So let me just quickly prepare like a, like a initial grid in here. I'm thinking that on the main street, I'm going to do, well, even in here, I'm going to do the mixed zoning thing. And then in here, I will do the medium density. Yeah. All right, come on. The low density demand really needs to drop now. This is a huge neighborhood that I just zoned. You can argue that, yeah, sure, I made a mistake. I did not really zone it compactly like this right from the start. But, you know, this just looks so much better than, uh, than this, right? Oh, what do we have here? Chemical plant. Everything is chemicals and more are made here every day. Nice, nice. So that's a signature building for industry. Oh, yeah. Plus 1% uh, industrial efficiency citywide. Citywide, yeah. So I don't really need to pay attention to where exactly I place it. I'm going to get uh, 500 points. By the way, I don't think they actually cost money, the unique buildings, do they? I was noticing that when I was, for example, relocating them. Yeah, they don't. They don't cost money. Now, I completely forgot about one thing, didn't I? I completely forgot about these train tracks and where am I going to take them? Now, since the city got uh, pretty big, I think that we can afford to build another train station roughly around this place. So let's create our first railway line. I'm just going to put uh, the first line on this track. Wait, am I selecting it? Yes, the passenger line. Let's put it on this track and the second station. Well, the tram depot is very terribly in the way right now. So I really need to put it somewhere else. And I guess I'm just going to slap it somewhere in the suburb because, uh, well, why not? It's out of the way. So let me just relocate it along this street right here. Yeah, 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 that's gonna be absolutely okay. And let's just take it from here and let's put it uh, exactly like this straight, go around here maybe, and then into the main line. There we go. So that's done and hopefully now we are going to see our passenger trains leaving the depot. Oh yeah, there we go. There it is, our first passenger train leaving the depot. So it's going to it's going to arrive at the line momentarily and hopefully there are going to be some passengers. Also, I completely forgot to place college. I did not realize that there are four levels of education. Uh, you know, the university, we kind of skipped college. So let's just place it maybe around here because that's where we have some open space and finally we can now have uh, people properly prepared for the university. I guess that right now there is some sort of like a afternoon rush hour and it's really great how the game is just telling you that there might be some sort of a traffic problem. So uh, we have for example this intersection uh, blocked a little bit. There are not that really big traffic jams but the game thinks that there are. Perhaps uh, perhaps we can solve this by just putting uh, more lanes in there because, you know, more lanes obviously equals better traffic situations 100% of the time. So let's just create uh, separate uh, turning lanes in there. That should help it quite a bit. And uh, well, yeah, it actually did. So here we go. All right, and we finally unlocked Milestone 8 Big Town. So that's where we are going to end for today because that's the milestone that I can show you last. But I think that this episode was filled with absolutely everything. So that's, you know, that's fine. We are just going to keep all the rest of these things for later. So high density housing and oil drilling, which means that 
we will have to completely remodel this initial industrial zone because that's where we have all those oil deposits. Okay, so that's going to be it for the second episode. There's going to be a third one in this early access time where we can just progress some more milestones. But hopefully in this one, I showed you everything I could think of. So all the railways, roads and some just expansion of the city. So you can get better feel how City Skylines 2 looks and how it's probably going to play. Okay, so guys, thank you for watching this video. Take care. Goodbye.